At this point, you've been on Zoom so much you feel like a pro, and you probably are, but maybe your next role is as a host, not just a participant. In this video, I'm sharing my best meeting tips for hosts, and I'll take you inside the Zoom dashboard so you know what to expect. When you're the host, it's your job to make sure the meeting moves smoothly, everyone can hear, and you get the results you want. If you've never hosted a meeting before, I want to show you behind the scenes so you can become familiar with what you can expect to see before your meeting goes live. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cheryl Tan, the founder of Master Video Today. It's a community that offers training, accountability, and support for your marketing teams. Subscribe to this channel for weekly video strategies you can use in your business. How many Zoom calls have you attended this week? Is that higher or lower than last week? What did you like about them and what didn't go so well? Let's compare notes in the comments. Here are my best Zoom meeting tips for hosts. Number one, take time to set up your shot. Too often, this is what I see from participants on Zoom. It's dark, the angle's not flattering. By simply raising your camera, you'll get a more professional shot. Wear a solid color you love, face a window, or place a light in front of you, and your shot will be so much better. Did you know that Zoom offers a little support in the appearance department? If you want to take advantage of this filter, you can access it by clicking on the carrot to the right of the camera icon at the bottom left of your screen. Go to the video settings and check the box next to touch up my appearance. Now we're going to go into the settings of your Zoom account. Open up Zoom and go to the settings tab on the left side of your screen. You do need to have one security measure set up, either requiring your attendees to enter a passcode or set up a waiting room. I like to set up the waiting room and let everyone in at one time. You can customize what you want the people in your waiting room to see. This is what they'll see before you let them in to the main Zoom room. You can add a message for those who are waiting so they don't become too impatient and leave before the meeting starts. Here's something I've started doing recently, muting all attendees when they first enter a room. Under the settings tab, you can check this box. So when you host a meeting, all attendees are muted when they join. Just make sure you remind people that they're muted so they can unmute themselves in order to be heard. While in the meeting, this is a really cool tip. You can hold down the space bar to unmute yourself temporarily. When you let go, you're muted once again. In the meeting itself, it's so important to have an agenda, a flow of events, and it's important to tell your participants what that is so they know what to expect and so they know when the meeting will end. A few things you can use in Zoom to increase engagement during your meeting. Use the whiteboard. Yes, you can share a presentation and some of those can be pretty compelling, but you can type things up in real time, which can be even more compelling and more in the moment for your attendees. To get to the whiteboard, click on the share screen button at the bottom of your screen, as if you're going to share a PowerPoint presentation or a web page. Look for the whiteboard option and click share. On this whiteboard, maybe you type out the agenda or you ask questions your attendees can answer in the chat. You can also use breakout rooms. This will allow you to put people in smaller rooms so they can have their own conversations. In rooms I've hosted in the past, people have really enjoyed the chance to have deeper conversations in those breakout rooms. You can also ask questions and use the polling feature. You can set it up so people can respond anonymously. I hope these tips help you feel more comfortable hosting your first or next Zoom gathering. Feel free to share this with members of your team. If you're looking for more support using video in your business, we work with companies to turn their knowledge into valuable video. Are you ready to get off of Zoom and start creating cornerstone video content? If so, watch this next.